Solve for x. x squared equals 144 over 169. Now we know that when we're solving for x, we need to isolate x alone on its own side of the equation. And while you may think that we have x alone here, we actually don't. What we do have is x squared, however. Now, x squared is like saying x times x. And the way that we get x squared all alone, or x all alone rather, is we need to take the square root of both sides. So you're asking yourself, what is the square root? Well, when we take a square root, what that means is we're asking ourselves, there, we're saying that there are two things that could multiply by each other to equal what we have right here. So for example, x squared. In order to get there, the same two things we could multiply would be x times x. So when we take the square root of x squared, we're only left with one of those, which is x. Now on the other side, we ask ourselves, what two numbers, when multiplied together, will equal 144? And remember, the numbers have to be the same. I know that 12 times 12 is 144, so that means that the square root of 144 is 12, and for 169, it is 13 times 13. So that means that x is equal to 12 over 13. Now something to take note of here. Notice how when I found the square root of this fraction, what I did was I actually found the square root of all three parts, x squared, the numerator, and the denominator. It's very important to make sure that you find the square root of both numerator and denominator in order to get the correct answer of x equals 12 thirteenths.